So what I want to show you is how I go about um, creating complex sounding instruments by layering multiple different things, both instrument plugins and effects plugins. So I have here a track from a project that I worked on, uh, which is also on my YouTube. Um, so I have just this track soloed, so you can hear it by itself. Let's listen to it. Sorry about the glitches. Um, and here's my effects chain. So I have three different uh, synth instances going, which are all sort of doing different things in terms of the overall uh, sound. I also have a bunch of effects, so what I'm going to do is just get rid of everything except these volume things, which I think are necessary, but just play this by itself with volume. And then I'll add the effects to that, and you can sort of hear how it starts to evolve. So, with this first EQ, you can hear how it's a little bit fuller over here, like the mid sort of, the low mid sort of sticks out a little bit more. I also have a little bit of delay here, so it's very slight. Um, and then the main thing, the reverb. So reverbs sound amazing. sort of another reverb or EQ where I was adding back some high stuff. Okay. So again, just going to jump back to this by itself, and well, first let's hear what this sounds like. So it really sounds like nothing. It sounds pretty useless by itself, you would think. But when I add it to this, it has a nice sort of effect. So this by itself. And now adding the other one. So it adds almost a sort of click to it, like to the attack of it. So again, with it. And without it. So it sort of makes things a little bit more complex and interesting. Here I have another FM synth, which is sort of occupying a different frequency band. And I mean, that's sort of an interesting timbre, uh, but by itself, it's not really. It doesn't have enough fullness to really be a standalone part, but when I add it into what's already there, it fits very nicely. So, these two together, and now I'll add the third one. Apologies. So that's starting to sound really cool. And then when you stack the effects on top of that, it's just pretty awesome. So that's sort of a demonstration of how I tend to create my own sort of custom synth things.